Hi, I'm Graham Pyle and we've fitted these CTC culters to this air seater and we're just going to run you through what we've done. We're pretty impressed with the way this machine works. We've uh, adapted it to the DBS and also the Horde bag shores so far and we believe we can adapt it to most machines. Uh, this is a set of culters that lifts up hydraulically uh, so that'll save the wear and tear on your culters. CTC culters main advantage is it takes four seconds to lift them up or down. They have a hydraulic accumulator on them for suspension and there's a special valve in there to keep them up when they're not in use. We're in the hydraulics division of the CTC Calders. We can put an electric diverter valve in the system so that you can use the hydraulic oil from the wings to, you, to do the culters up and down and then switch the switch back to do your wings. Now uh, it, this is the uh, pressure re release valve in the machine to set the pressure. Uh, that's the pressure gauge to determine what the pressure is or what pressure you believe you need. There's an accumulator up there behind that pile on those three uh, straps. And then we have a, a, a breakout valve if something happens to upset the whole um, coulter arrangement and so that nothing breaks they'll just uh, lift up on that valve there and that resets automatically. Now you can see here there's absolutely no trash on the tines. The discs cut a track through this fairly uh, difficult paddock and uh, right through there's nothing on any tine in the machine. Now we had 10 mils of rain last night and you can see the trash here. And the culders just cut straight through the tines and the press wheels have done a beautiful job. Now the culders we've got uh, up to 16 discs on one Duraflex shaft and the works that the discs on one end will drive the discs on the other end and that seems to keep the discs unbelievably sharp. It helps to cut through the trash because if you've got trash in, in one side of the machine the discs on the other side will drive it through. You only need to use the discs where you have to so you can lift them up and down in four seconds. So if there's only a part of your paddock where you require the culders well you just put them down do that and lift them up. Uh, that'll save and wear and tear and your discs will last for years. Most other types of culders take an hour and a half or more to lift up and down. You know, ours take four seconds. That's a huge advantage. Yeah.